In this video, we will explore computer hardware components. I know what you're thinking, but don't panic. By learning the basics of how a computer works, you can understand optimal ways to use your computer and also know how to troubleshoot should something go wrong. At the very least, you will be able to point computer support or repair person in the right direction. Think of it this way. It's like knowing the very basics of how your car works or how to operate a more complicated appliance. Let's get started. Hardware. Computer hardware is a collection of physical elements that constitute a computer system. Hardware can include components such as a monitor, mouse, keyboard, computer data storage, hard disk drive, graphic cards, sound cards, memory, and motherboard. The motherboard is the main component of a computer. It is a board with integrated circuitry that connects the other parts of the computer, including the CPU, the RAM, the disk drives like a CD, DVD, hard disk, etc., as well as any peripherals connected via the ports or the expansion slots. Does that make sense? The motherboard is the biggest circuit board in your computer and everything your computer does or is instructed to do goes through the motherboard. Components directly attached to or part of a motherboard include the CPU, otherwise known as a central processing unit. It performs most of the calculations that enable a computer to function and is usually cooled by a heat sink and a fan. Most newer use CPUs include a graphics processing unit, otherwise known as a GPU, which renders images. Aha! The CPU is the brain of the computer, and faster CPU processing speed contributes to a faster computer. Also attached to the motherboard is the chipset, which is a set of integrated circuit components, or chips, that manage the flow of data between the processor, memory, and peripherals. Cool! The chipset is communication central, kind of like an air traffic control tower, managing incoming and outgoing data. Another component of the motherboard is RAM, which stands for Random Access Memory. RAM stores the code and data that are being actively accessed by the CPU. Every computer has a maximum amount of RAM that it can handle, and computers with more RAM are faster. That makes sense. Computer RAM is working memory, the stuff you or the computer are actively working on. Another component on the motherboard is ROM, which stands for Read-Only Memory. ROM chips contain critical programs that are embedded and cannot be modified by a computer user. The data on the ROM chips is not lost when the computer shuts down. Got it! ROM, read-only memory, means information can be read only and not modified. A CD-ROM disk is another example. Once music or data is saved onto a CD-ROM disk, it can only be read or listened to from then on. The BIOS, or Basic Input-Output System, includes boot firmware and power management firmware. The BIOS that runs when the computer is powered on or otherwise begins execution is a process known as bootstrapping, or booting, or booting up. Um, firmware? Firmware, simply defined, is a set of firmly embedded programs or instructions that tell a piece of hardware or device to do what the manufacturer intended it to do. The instructions that tell a simple traffic light to change from red to green at regular intervals is an example of firmware. Buses connect the CPU to various internal components and to expansion cards for graphics and sound. Simply put, a bus is a path on the motherboard that the computer uses to transfer data to and from the CPU and other components or devices. Makes sense. A bus transports data from one location or device to another location or device. Kind of like a public transportation bus transports people. The CMOS battery is also attached to the motherboard and powers the memory for the date and time of the BIOS chip. Who knew? If you didn't have a CMOS battery, you would have to reset the computer's clock every time you powered it up. Computer data storage, often called storage, refers to computer components and recording media that retain digital data. Data storage is a core function and fundamental component of computers. Mind-blowing! 
You want your computer or device to save what you recorded or created, right? That's what storage is for. And there's two kinds of data storage, fixed media and removable media. Fixed media is data stored on a computer. Types of fixed media include hard disk drives, solid state drives, and disk array controllers. Okay, getting it. So fixed media is attached, aka fixed, to or is a permanent part of the computer. Removable media are devices used to transfer data between computers or devices. They include USB flash drives, optical disks, memory cards, and external SSD hard drives. The usefulness of any particular removable media device depends on being readable by other systems. Many machines have an optical disk drive and virtually all have a USB port. Got it. Removable media are external devices that could plug into a computer. They allow you to take your storage with you, like with a memory card and a camera. Input and output devices are typically housed externally to the main computer chassis. The following are either standard or very common to many computer systems. Makes sense. Inputs and outputs are how humans and computers communicate with each other. Input devices allow the user to enter information into the system or control its operation. Most desktop computers have a mouse and a keyboard. Laptop systems typically use a touchpad instead of a mouse. Other input devices include webcams, microphones, joysticks, and image scanners. Input into. Input devices help humans tell the computer what to do. By using a device such as a keyboard, a mouse, a trackpad, a microphone, a joystick, etc. Output devices display information in a human-readable form. Such devices could include printers, speakers, monitors, or a braille embosser. Output. Output devices take the information from the computer and display it or translate it onto monitors, printers, headphones, etc. Let's recap hardware. The motherboard holds everything important. The CPU is the brain. The chipset manages data flow. RAM is active memory. ROM is read-only memory. The BIOS boots the computer. Buses transport data between locations and devices. Storage can be either fixed or removable. Input devices send info in. Output devices send info out.